Now, we have learned so much about how you um, appear as a makeup artist. And uh, on the earlier uh, episode, we did the makeup artist profile. Now we are going to the next level, which is the makeup artist portfolio. Some people call it the CV. I usually like separating the makeup artist profile from the makeup artist CV or portfolio because it is important for someone to know you first and then get to see what you do, what you've done in the past, to just see your work experience. The CV or the portfolio gives us an opportunity to create a detailed outline of what we've done. And this is really, really, really interesting. Um, so it is important to, it, your, your portfolio or your CV could be in images, um, it could be an outline of the works that you've done. You can combine the images and just outlines of what you have done. Uh, if you're a film makeup artist, what I like to do, I usually outline, um, let's say um, I did the um, script to skin um, makeup workshops uh, with the US Embassy uh, through the American spaces. I'll outline that and then down there, I'll just create a shortcut, um, a shortcut link that will take you to YouTube so that you can see some videos or just an outline video of the course itself. This is really important because when you send the PDF document um, and the client sees the outline of this is what is done, he's done these movies, he's done these trainings, he's done these TV commercials, he've, he's done these um, fashion videos, he's done these music videos, he's done this uh, theatrical um, uh, project, they can click onto the video. If you have a video on YouTube, create an, um, a YouTube link um, shortcut that you can now just right um, just put um, just below the, the you know your bullet points and you know the work that you've done so that people can click onto them and see your work this is really really important um, the other way you could do it if you're more of a bridal makeup artist uh, or a editorial makeup artist um, you could just create um, like a montage of the images that you've done and you know they have to be as beautiful as spectacular as possible just create a layout um, that you can use um, to do a good presentation when someone imagine there are people like seated in a boardroom somewhere and they're looking through what who which makeup artist to have for the job and you all of you have sent um, your CV so how your CV plays and you know I usually create my CV um, through an app called Canva uh, and it's really nice because you can create a presentation out of it and you can just click onto it and you know it will do like a nice presentation and it, it's usually so seamless and this is for the images themselves uh, for the outlines um, you know on the document and the uh, the YouTube channel uh, the YouTube links um, I usually do the same so I've done two ways I've done my portfolio in two ways I've done the images which is like a montage and i've done the outline um of past work from way back you know even the music videos that i didn't do so well um but i've, I've only done those that you know you can see and you're like oh this guy just did a good job they're not so badly off uh, because we all make mistakes like when we're starting out as makeup artists so i've outlined all the work that i did all the way from um you know 10 years ago and you know on 2010 I did this and this and this 2011 I did this and this and this um, you know 2022 I've done um, you know the makeup workshop with uh, the US Embassy and this is a link I've outlined all of them for over the years all you know they I have like three pages worth of um, uh, portfolio um, apart from now the montage that takes you now through a journey through images because i do a lot of editorial work and this is not to say that that is how you should do it but these are just two ways of how you would do it you can do the montage or the picture um portfolio or you could do like me um 
you know the outlining and you know put all that information there and don't forget this is a separate document so you must also include you know your name up there when you're starting your your to do your cv and you must also include your contact information um with your cv because you know you might someone might just have the, be forwarded the cv and they're the person uh, they are the, the pers uh, that's the person who's supposed to call you for the gig and you'll miss out on the gig even though your work is exceptional just because you did not have your contact information on your CV or portfolio. So it's important to have also you just just in case your contact information down there or up there where, you, where you just, you've just mentioned that you know this is uh, Suki, um, he works for Suki Makeup Africa and this is the contact information and this is you know part of the work that he has done in the past like 10 11 12 years is this and this and this and you know they can find me and they can reach me and hopefully i get the work so i hope this video was um impo was really really helpful for you guys and as young and upcoming makeup artists do not worry if you don't have a lot of um experience if you have one year of experience it's okay just write your experience just right don't worry about it um it is exceptional that, you know just to to that's how it starts you know and you do not have to worry about not getting work just based on your years of experience it's your level of skill that gives you work it's your level of uh, professionalism like having a good cv having a good portfolio having a good profile it's your level of professionalism and your artistry that's what gets you the work so please even on uh, uh, on in, in soft copy, appear as professional as possible. How you've done your 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 wordings and how you know you've used your font and the colors that you've used and the document if it's in PDF and you know how can I click onto this to get to this? How can I click onto this link to get to this? Le the links are not too long; they are tidy. You know the bullet points; it's well numbered. It's everything is in line the years, the dates, where I need to put like the, um, the capital letters I've done it. Um, so it's really, really, where I've needed to change the font I have. So it's really important to appear as professional as possible and as, you know, with some good order as much as possible on your CV, as much as you needed to do for your um, profile. This is one level of you getting to your next, uh, uh, thing or your next phase which will be the client calling you physically for a meeting or calling you for the work so this is so important you have to do your CV in the best way ever if you need help you could uh, ask for help for you know from someone who does these types of things you could ask um, someone who does a lot of you know documents and stuff uh, you don't need i think you don't need a graphic designer to do this you, you just need someone who's really good uh, at putting the wordings right and you know creating the the links very well and you know just doing a document that is just exceptional that is just neat if you need help do not be shy to ask for help from you know any of your friends or someone who has a skill that you feel like would add value to your craft uh, you don't have to do it yourself and then you know that's how we learn that's how we learn how to do it and don't forget to just ask them how did you do it so that if in case you need to add you know 2022 2023 what i did you can easily go back to your cv and add the information and you'll be good to go and you'll update your cv now something i really really need to mention you need to update your cv every year um if need be do it every um twice a year because it's really really easy for you to forget some of the very very important projects you work on so it is very important just update your cv as you go um some people update their cvs quarterly i find that um really you know it's it's professional yes uh but you know sometimes we just forget i usually update my cv twice a year and i feel like it's really it really works because i'm you know some by month six i can at least remember i worked on this job and i can find the video i can get people who worked on this job or the production house or the people you know from the theater company or you know the news anchors and stuff to just give me the video link or just tell me how can i find this video how can i you know 
how you know what was the name of this project you know how can i um word it just to appear as professional as possible so having said that you know it's really amazing now that you've done your cv well you've done your portfolio well and now you're ready to send to your potential clients you have your montage uh, which is a picture form of your cv or your portfolio and now you're ready to just give the client a chance to offer you the opportunity to work with them um, yeah so that's it uh, from me from me uh, in regards to creating your makeup artist portfolio or cv See you.